Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I want to show you guys some tips and tricks for iOS 7. Now, the first one I want to show you guys is about Spotlight Search. It is relocated, and to access it now, you can swipe down on any page on your home screen. So you can see here, I'm on my first page, and I swipe down, and it comes up with the search iPod text. Now, what's very neat is I can actually go to my second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on pages, and then swipe down on those, and I can get the keyboard and the search iPod text there as well. So if you've got a lot of apps and a lot of pages on your home screen, this is going to be very beneficial. Instead of going to Spotlight for Search on the first page, you can now access it on any page. Another neat trick that Apple added in iOS 7 is a moving icon on your home screen. Now if you look closely, you can see that the red line on the clock icon is moving. It's not just the standard time that was set in iOS 1 through 6, and it's actually moving so you can actually count seconds without even having to launch the clock app. I think that's a really neat feature that I'm going to really enjoy. The next tip that I've got for you guys is the ability to skip through a song or pick a certain part in that song on your lock screen. Now before you would only be able to play, skip, and then go backward through the song, but you couldn't really pinpoint exactly where you wanted, say you wanted to show your friends a certain verse or just a certain part that you really enjoyed. Now when you're on your lock screen, you can just drag at the very top, and you can see I'm dragging through any part in the song without even launching the music app. That's a really cool feature as well, and I'm definitely going to be using that. It's going to come in handy very much. Now one last thing I want to show you guys before I end the video is you can see that when I'm tilting my iPod, I've got a really cool looking parallax effect. However, that may drain your battery. I haven't really tested it out, but it seems like it would since it's drawing extra power to use the accelerometer just to track motion on your device. So if you by chance don't like it or you just want to disable it, go ahead and head over to settings, click on general, and then click the accessibility section. From there, scroll down to this place where it says reduce motion and then toggle that switch to on. So those were just a few of the new tips and tricks that are found in iOS 7. I'll have a lot more coming on iOS 7 in the coming weeks. I am very busy with school right now, otherwise I'd be bringing you guys a lot more content. I've got lots of homework, so sorry about that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, click that like button. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.